We're being joined by Professor Michael Hoffman, who is the Image of the Year recipient. Congratulations. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your image and what it represents? Sure. So this is a image that really tells the story of eight patients that were treated as part of a clinical trial in our center. These were patients with very advanced metastatic prostate cancer who had really exhausted all conventional therapy. So they had had chemotherapy and second generation hormone therapy and they were destined really just to go off to palliative care. And we treated them with a new therapy, lutetium PSMA 617, which is a form of theranostics where we use uh, lutetium uh, labeled to prostate specific membrane antigen. And it's a novel way to target uh, advanced prostate cancer. And what we saw was a lot of exceptional responses in this patient, in this patient group. And this image encapsulates the eight patients with the best responses, but within that image, really, there's a story behind uh, each patient. Can you tell us a little bit about the research behind that image? Yeah, so this is not a new target. PSMA is a, a target that many groups around the world have been working on on a very long time. There's a lot of work uh, out of the US and out of Heidelberg in Germany, uh, preclinical. Uh, lots of scientists working on this, which has led to its adoption as uh, both an imaging uh, and a therapeutic uh, modality. So we have really adopted the technology of others uh, to enable a prospective clinical trial to happen. And how did you generate that image? Yeah, so it's a series of PET images using Gallium 68 PSMA 11. Uh, and uh, these are the maximum intensity projection images and they give us a 3D overview of all the activity in the patient and it's quite an intuitive image. It picture tells a thousand words and what we've done here which is a little bit unique is set an SUV threshold of three and any prostate cancer above that threshold we show in bright red and allows us to quickly visualize that image see where the prostate cancer uh, extent is both before and after the treatment. What do you see as the future of prostate cancer in say 10 to 20 years? Sure. It's always hard to project five to ten years or even further ahead. Uh, but in this domain, maybe we can start by looking back. Theranostics as a treatment is not new. We've been using radioactive iodine to treat metastatic thyroid cancer for over 75 years. And what we learnt from thyroid cancer is not to use it end of the line after you've failed everything. But in fact, for thyroid cancer, it's used as a first line therapy. So if patients have metastatic thyroid cancer, we give radioactive iodine as the first treatment and we can cure patients, which is quite remarkable. And with PSMA at the moment, we're using it as an end of the line therapy. And I would like to see that brought forward probably to a first line therapy. And it's quite possible that we just might be able to cure patients if we use it upfront first line rather than last line. What's next for your research? So we finished this phase two trial, which was a 50 patient trial. Uh, that led to the image of the year, which is fantastic, and we're really uh, honoured about that. Uh, now we've actually started a randomised control trial of this therapy versus a type of chemotherapy called carbazitaxel. This is an Australian multi-centre trial running at, at 10 sites around Australia. It's uh, been about two years in the making, and we started recruiting patients about three months ago, and we've already randomised over 20 patients into this study and it's got a lot of generous support of others that I'd just like to take a moment to thank. Uh, but Endocyte that now uh, own PSMA 617 and are moving forward with this and also Ansto uh, in Australia who make the Lutetium 177 that's used to treat these patients and a few philanthropic providers, the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia, the Australian New Zealand Urology Groups and Movember that have put forward money uh, to make this trial happen. Professor Hoffman, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations again on receiving the Image of the Year. Thank you.